All right, hello. Elise slash Aquila Cat here. Um, I was gonna use my webcam for this, but uh, the audio sucks, so phone instead. Um, sorry that I have been gone for so long and haven't uploaded anything in a while. Um, part of that's just because I've been in school for the last year and just haven't had time, but I also haven't been motivated to make anything. Um, but I think I found some motivation. Like, I've been around, which you may know if you've posted a comment on any of my videos, because I try really hard to respond to people as fast as I can, because I do spend a lot of time on YouTube. My watch later playlist is, well, used to be like hundreds of videos long. I've pared it down to like 50 now. Um, but I am on YouTube a lot. I just haven't posted anything. Um, but hopefully that will change now. Um, because I have some ideas. So if you saw my previous video, the like how to narrow down your career ideas to figure out what you'd be good at doing and what you would, what you would like to do, um, I haven't watched that video for a while, but I think I was, I had narrowed it down to very like general topics of ideas that I wanted to do to go into a career for. Um, the only thing that I was focused on was what will get me to Ireland, what will convince them to hire me so I can stay there, and that was it. Um, and from what I've tracked over the last like year that I've been looking at it on their critical skills list, biological and chemical scientists have been pretty um, consistent on those lists this whole time. So I think I'm on the right track. Um, like I'm majoring in botany, minoring in microbiology, which is working out and I think will open some doors later on. But what I'm really interested in is toxicology um, and also parasitology and veterinary. And there's a lot of things I'm interested in, but I think toxicology will be my best bet to like find a niche and establish myself. But anyway, um, like there's a lot of things I could end up doing with that. I can be happy working in some lab, either just focusing on ongoing research or hell, even just working in a lab doing the same tests every day for some like law enforcement or government agency or whatever, just doing a bunch of drug and blood tests or something for like a health department maybe, I don't know. I could be perfectly happy doing that. But what I am already good at, um, like I have a few years of school left before I can even think of pursuing my master's degree and going to Ireland. But a skill that I already have is compiling scientific information and like current research and understanding at least a lot of the lingo and portraying it, relaying it in a way that makes sense to most people. Um, it's part of why I want to go into public health along with the toxicology because I, even though I could be happy working in a lab, I can also be happy even though it would be day hours and I would really prefer to work graveyard shift. Um, I could be happy working for like a public health organization um, because I can I don't mind working with the public. I like to get information out there and like share interesting things, which I think is what I want to start doing is sharing interesting things about either research that's going on or things that I learned throughout classes or just things that I'm interested in that I randomly find out or have some knowledge about from, you know, being a vet tech in the past or whatever. Um, so. So what I'm especially interested in talking about is how even though because I've been fascinated by a lot of this stuff and I have medical background experience and like seek out that knowledge, there's a lot of things that I'm knowledgeable, knowledgeable about that seem like common sense to me, but are not really common in public knowledge, even though a lot of these things really should be um, things relating to toxicology, even like toxicology and public health, eh, intertwined. Um, but like things that are like harmful to pets, us, kids, 
like things that some may already know about but not others like there are some things that are really common knowledge like be careful around bleach or um, like knowing that asbestos is bad and trying to avoid that or or don't eat food that's been rotten or knowing that poison ivy can irritate the skin or even just simply being aware that not every mushroom or plant that you can forage in the wild is edible. Some of it can harm you. But there, but there's other information that should be more common in public knowledge. Um, like knowing that certain like aerosol fragrances can really harm pets. Or knowing that common weeds in your backyard, like hemlock, are common, at least here in Oregon. Hemlock is really common, um, but even just touching it can be really irritating to some people, um, so it's good to be knowledgeable about those kinds of things. Or knowing that some common plants, lilies, like gift plants like lilies, or common household plants like Monstera or Pothos can be very toxic to pets, and some also to kids if they get into them. Um, and then also like how there's a reason why pregnant people shouldn't scoop the litter box. That reason being Toxoplasma gondii, or Gondi, Gondi, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It causes Toxoplasmosis. That's the whole reason why you shouldn't scoop the litter box when you're pregnant. Or things like more near and dear to my heart, like ringworm. I volunteer for a cat rescue. One of the cats that I have, I got because somebody brought her to the cat rescue because she had a ringworm. Like they bought her off a Craigslist, found out she had a ringworm, and immediately relinquished her to a cat rescue. Like, yes, ringworm is annoying and it's very persistent, but it's relatively harmless as long as it's being treated. And even though it takes a lot of work, you can pretty easily get rid of it. So don't get rid of your cats just because they have ringworm. So obviously I'm more focused on like the veterinary side of things because that's what my background is in, what my first degree is in like an associate's degree for veterinary technology and a lot of the volunteering that I've done and like new anti and new antibiotics that have been found to help with the antibiotic resistance like albicidin. I didn't even know about albicidin until I had to do research for one of my class discussions which relating to toxicology it's a toxin produced by a plant pathogen so like it's toxic to plants but not to us and it's exceedingly effective at killing um, antibiotic resistant bacteria so it's super helpful and there are other things like that coming out too that like me someone who is interested in this stuff and fascinated by it and actively seeks this information out had no idea about so I'm assuming the public doesn't know about it either and it's interesting it's fascinating I would love for you all to know about it so I'm happy to talk about things like that too um, or like I'm really fascinated by bats. They're one of my favorite animals along with cats. Um, so I could talk about things like the white fungus disease that attacks bats or zoonotic diseases associated with bats such as rabies or nipa, nipa, nipa virus. So yeah, there's a lot of things that fly under the public radar that should be more well known and I would like to share that information with you um, and also just give myself a reason to hype myself up and be passionate about something which is nice because um, for the last like half of a year I haven't really like felt like myself much and it's just been really weird I've been to therapy I figured it out I've I'm resilient bounced back I'm all good to go and fired up again but I would love to share that stuff with you um, and so keep an eye out for videos about this stuff um, I'm not sure what I'll talk about first yet maybe hemlock maybe albicidin I don't know um, but if there's anything in particular relating to like toxicology or public health or veterinary stuff even that you're curious about um, let me know in the comments and I will look into it and see what information I can find out because I enjoy researching and finding things out um, 
and I think I, I will be more motivated and passionate about creating videos about this stuff than I will be with what I had considered doing before uh, when I did the initial like how to narrow down your career field video when I was thinking of also looking into like public programs and things that may be helpful that people may not know about. I might still do that later on, but right now this is what I'm really fascinated about and I am eager to share. And hopefully you all will find at least some of this stuff interesting. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. Keep an eye out.